Hello LEGO fans, Bricks Unbound here with another LEGO City update. So this is the February of 2017 update. I believe it's update number 11. And here's just a zoomed out look at the city. I really like this angle here. You can just see all the buildings. Nice uh, skyline there in the background with Avengers Tower, Alter Agents Tower, the Chancellor's Tower, and then the Octane Tower. Um, I do have the most of the parts I need now to put another level onto the Octane Tower, so I'm looking forward to that. I still need to figure out exactly what I want to do with these floors. I have lots of ideas um, inside the, the Chancellor's Tower there, um, but haven't gotten around to it yet. Definitely in the works. Uh, the Avengers Tower is the same deal where I actually have probably enough parts to do the interior of that and just haven't been able to find the time to do it lately. Alter Agents Tower, all those four, the interiors are complete on. So that's very exciting. And here we go. Let's go ahead and start this tour. So where I was sitting were, was in this set of bleachers here watching this soccer game or football game, depending on where you're from. It looks like we've got the Rebels versus the Stormtroopers in today's match. Not really sure what the score is yet. Uh, but looks like they're having a fun time there. We got Darth Vader watching on, and in the stands here are all of my Sig Figs. So we have starting at the bottom row: Fish in Bricks, Mashu Bricks, or Big Sue Bricks. Not really sure what his current name is. TF Bricks, Busy Blocks, and then the next row back from left to right: TMX Brick Notes, Brick Princess, and Benny's Garage. You can barely see him with the hat on. And we've got a Fall Man, Cool Kid Bricks, Neptune Ice, and Maniac for Bricks. And then there I am with my Spider Goblin pet. And we just have some Star Wars characters watching in the other sets of stands. We've just got a nice little park area behind there. We'll get another look at that from a different angle. I believe that's probably exactly the same as it was in the previous update. And down in front of all of that we have the tram stop here. Got a few people waiting. Uh, we got one of the Ninja Turtles getting a hot dog. Some coffee. People getting coffee. The Mariachi Man is performing along with the Banana Suit Guy. Have several people watching on there. Oh, it looks like the Lego employee fell over. Oops. Okay. And then we just have a few things here. Nothing has changed. That fire station has been in that state for almost a year now. Um, I actually do have a lot more red parts, I just haven't uh, built on it anymore. I want a little bit better idea of how I want to do the second floor before I work too much on it. And uh oh, looks like a member of the Steve Syndicate is doing something here. Looks like he might be a lookout. Uh, so let's go around the corner and see what he's watching out for. Oh no! Oh dear. The Steve Syndicate has stopped the Lego truck and is robbing it. That is quite unfortunate. It looks like it was, I guess I hadn't dropped off delivery yet because they're getting plenty of stuff out the back. But they have pulled their trucks out in front of it to stop it, create their little roadblock. Got another lookout down here. A couple guys holding up the driver. And three more taking everything out of the back. Oh, and it looks like this truck was even carrying the very important piece of resistance. So they got the piece of resistance as well as some nice Lego sets, so I guess they'll be having some fun with that. And then as we move down, so now we're at this over the left side of my city. We've got some hydro vehicles parked in this little alleyway. Still not really sure what building, but I'm going to build to put there. It needs, there needs to be some building there because right now it's just a uh, souvenir stand and the hydro tank. I don't think hydro runs the souvenir business in this city, but maybe they do. Maybe they fooled even me. There's another hydro vehicle parked. And over here at the Avengers Tower, we've got the Avengers still playing disc golf. Um, looks like I actually forgot to move them around too much, but the agents of Mach, I did a sick picture with them. They are here now too, watching and getting ready to play the next round. And we still have Tony Stark and Nick Fury up on the little balcony. Waving over across the way, talking to Solomon, Blaze, and some of the Ultra Agents. And it's just people parked down here. Nothing too exciting going on. The Animal Lovers... Oops, didn't realize the bike shop manager was up on the roof there. <laughs> he can go down by his bike shop. 
I guess I haven't really shown a good view of this. Not that this is a great view because the Avengers Tower is in my way. But there's the, this side of the bike shop and cafe in this position of the city. Anyway, Animal Lover Rooftop. I believe they might be in the same position as before as well. This guy's about to roast the bunny that he has captured. But he got caught by the hedgehog. So maybe this other guy who's always clueless about what's going on... <laughs> is finally going to learn something if his hedgehog friend turns in his neighbor. And the shark suit guy is hiding up here as well. He was hiding there in the last video as he watched the uh, animal control officer walking through the park, but it looks like he has been spotted, so he's going to have to try to escape from her and her pet skunk. Here's a view of that little park area from the back. It's pretty, pretty open right now. I might actually put some more of the disc golf... Uh, some more of these things. Here we go. The disc golf baskets in there, so we have a little bit more of a course going on. I have parts, I think, to do one or two more of those. And here's another view from the park. So the other side of the city has moved around some now because there's a new building in place that you can just kind of see through there. We've got the pet shop and uh, townhouse, I believe, we're just one spot over to the right where the detective's office now is, because that used to be directly behind it, and this was a parking space. But now I've got these set up here. I think I like that look. I also put in a fence on the other side of the track as well, so nobody rides over in front of the tram. Alright, so here's what those look like. we got the, the spooky kid up here. Uh... <laughs> Okay, not sure what's going on there. Uh, looks like the guy was walking his dog on the roof and they all decided to take a nap and Uncar's thug is there. Oh well. That's what I get for <laughs> not super carefully checking over what's on the rooftops of my buildings when I'm going through. Oh, speaking of rooftops, so down here we also have um, Bucky Barnes and the Black Panther playing a game of tag around the city. And as we move down here, we got a few people going into the theater. Uh, looks like we've got Batman, or, or excuse me, Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson getting ready for the movie. Robin there is super excited. And if anyone hasn't seen the Lego Batman movie yet, I would highly recommend it. It was a very enjoyable movie. I don't know if I would say it was as good as the Lego movie, but it was still one of the better Batman movies that come out recently. <laughs> and we do have a police chase going on here, so somebody luckily has called them to try and save the Lego truck, but it looks like they might be arriving too late to get all the pieces back. Moving around the side, so here we go, Lego Batman movie sets. So the villain vehicles are parked here outside of a new building. And this is the building here. I have two floors of it complete. I, still need, I just need to figure out how I'm going to do the roof exactly. You can see I have a few parts up there to work on it. I just haven't figured out quite how I want to do it yet. Um, so this this building is called the Ville Inn. It is the hotel for my city and the base of operations for the uh, various villains here. So right now we got lots of Lego Batman movie villains outside of it. Got a great collection of characters with that movie. Um, and all of those sets. There's still a few that I really want to see who are in the movie and I would like to see them in sets. Claire Croc looks like he's getting ready to head out, climb into the back of his truck to drive off. And these vehicles are all pretty huge actually. <laughs> they all take up about a block just by themselves but I do like the look of them. They're very very fun and in the spirit of the Lego Batman movie. And down from there nothing too exciting going on around the corner here. We've just got the Octan building here. Looks like something's crashed into the roof. Again, didn't look at the roofs of my buildings. Dang it, nobody ever looks up. Okay, and oh darn. This guy just got done fixing that in the last video, I think, and, and now it's already been knocked over by one of the villains. I can't actually remember if I did that intentionally or not. But it's, it worked out posing pretty well. He looks kind of freaked out about it. The artist still is searching for inspiration. Not sure what she's going to draw on her piece of paper there. And here's the back of the city. So pretty pretty boring back here. We've got the, the slug parked over there. We've got a couple of 
Imperial officer or Imperial troopers outside in the Chancellor's Tower, which, as I said, still needs interiors. There's one floor and two floors in it that have interiors at the moment. And here's a look just down the alleyway. Stitch is still going in there. Uh, he must live in the basement of that because nobody's nobody's been complaining in the city as far as things disappearing. And here's the back of these buildings. Can't really get a great shot of the back of the Ville Inn, uh, but that's all right. Okay, I think that really does it for this update. So the main change is the addition of this building here, the Ville Inn, and then the movement of the pet shop and detective's office. Oh, we've also got a crook escaping on the roof over here. And looks like the sweeper, who is a made-up uh, robber or villain in my city, who's becoming slightly more infamous because he's robbed things a few times. His main weapons of choice are brooms. You saw him scaling the side of the building in the last episode because his bucket doubles as a grappling hook. But he has been confronted, confronted by this criminal-looking guy and that is, of course, the guy who, in just about every city update for the last few months, keeps getting arrested by the police because he wears outfits like that, and they think he is an escaped convict. He's not, so they let him out as soon as they get him to jail and check his file. Uh, but he is sick of it, and he's going to find a real criminal, capture him, and turn him over to the super-secret police to prove once and for all he is not a bad guy. And now I think I've actually covered everything for my city this month. So not too many changes, but I do like where it's going. I need to figure out exactly what I want to do with the roof of the Ville Inn. And now that it's sitting here with all the other modulars, it looks a little short. So now I want to add a third floor to it as well and then put the roof on top. Uh, let me know what, how you think this roof should go. At one point I was considering just doing it just angled forward all the way across. And then I kind of had an idea, I'm not sure I'd pull it off, but have angles on the side, one here going that way, one going that way, and the middle would go up. And I know I could do that with slope plates and things, but I kind of want to use, or slope bricks, I kind of want to use these plates though on their side because then I can just pull those off to look inside and get a top down view a little bit easier. But let me know what you think about it down in the comments and how you think I should do it. It's supposed to be medieval styling, kind of, as you can see from the front. Uh, just not entirely sure how I want to pull off the roof yet, but I was tired of waiting for myself to figure it out without doing a video, so I decided to film a city update. Thank you for watching. I hope you come back for more.